Hi friends, uh, in this tutorial I am going to be teaching you guys how to normalize Unicode text to a standard representation. So for this uh, example, um, let me academy, let's move to the desktop. So in here, um, let's uh, create a variable called a string one and let's give it something like uh, jalapeno jalape however uh, the end that has like a, a tilde on top of it on some languages one way of representing it is by using this 00f1o so let's create another one and say that the string is 2 and uh, this time what we do is we put an n in here u0303 it is u0303 so let's just do a quick printing of it a string one and then print um, a string two let's save it if we come in here and say save uh, and uh, where is it in here so if you run this program called uh, normalize so this is the name of the program normalize this I'm running it I have saved it to my desktop so this character in here jalapeno or jalapeno so this character there are this different ways of representing it one is this and this is it however to us they both look the same so in here uh, let's say that uh, let's check it is it true let's say that uh, print let's create another variable called uh, let's say compare and let's say compare is equal to s is equal to sorry is the string one is equal to a string two and let's print it this one also so let's say print uh, compare uh, let's save it and uh, let's run this sorry compare a string one two a string is not defined I forgot to put one in here so let's save it again let's run it however in here it says false but we can see that both these characters they have they look the same to us but the result when we are comparing it it shows us as false why uh, so in order to demonstrate that let me show you another thing in here so if we say print length of a string one and do the same so copy it paste it and run this so let's save it first and run it this time you can see that the first variable is string it has eight and the second has nine characters however when we look at it they look both they both look the same to us but when you're comparing it it says it's false why because one is eight one is nine so to the naked eye uh, it looks the same you would assume that they are the same however when we are comparing it and we understand that it's not the same so in order to normalize it so one way of normalizing it is uh, by using the importing the Unicode data uh, library so let's uh, import this di directory this module sorry import Unicode data so Unicode data yeah now let's say let's create another variable for it to hold this string let's say that normalized string one and we are saying that to unicode data dot so we are saying use the unicode normalize so what this unicode data is it is this unicode the module name so what we are saying is that normalize use the normalize method of the use the normalized method of the Unicode data and then we are saying NFC it is uh, NFC we can use NFC or we can use 
NFD. So NFC is that uh, how do I say it? NFC means that the character should be fully composed. That is that uh, use a single code point if possible. So I will be uh, I will explain it uh, NFC and there is another format that we can use NFD. So you can use NFC or NFD. Those are the differences that uh, NFD means that the character should be fully decomposed with the use of uh, combining uh, or sorry not combining. Uh, NFD is like um, it means the character should be fully decomposed. Uh, with the use of uh, combining characters, uh, so I, this uh, it will take a long time if I explain this thing. Uh, I, these things I will probably create a, a next uh, another tutorial to explain this. So for that, uh, let's say that let's understand that um, you can either use uh, NFC or NFD, and after that uh, let's put in the string. So in here we are using a string one, and let's do the same. Let's copy it and paste it. This time use it for the string two. So in here, you are normalizing both. So did you understand this, guys? Uh, what this means, Unicode? It is this uh, module that you are using, the Unicode data module, and this normalize as a method of this uh, module, Unicode data. So what it does, we are saying is that uh, use the normalize method of the Unicode data uh, uh, module. Use NFC to decode it or to normalize it. Another way is the, to use the NFD, and then we are saying work on a string one and a string two. So this is string one and the string two are the variables that holds this data. So now that we have decoded it, now let's compare it. So now if we say that compare two, and we say that uh, normalized string one is equal to normalized string two, and we say print compare to so this compare to is this variable that is comparing both normalized text or string one and a string two to these two strings they are comparing it so now if you run this let's save it first and now if we run it it says true previously it said false now it says true why it says true because we have normalized it using nfc another way of doing it if to use the nfd So let's go and save it. So as I mentioned, NFC and FD, uh, these are like how the character should be composed or how to compose it or for NFD you decompose it. Uh, so we saved it and uh, let's run it. It also says true. Because why? Because now we have uh, normalized this text. So what at first, it did was we printed these two characters or these two words jalapeno and uh, the when we first compared it it showed us for false why is it false because one of them is eight characters the other is nine characters then it showed us a true because why because in here we have encoded it so once you encode it sorry no, not encode it <laughs> normalize it so because in here we have um, normalized it so once you normalize it you can compare them and now we can see it's true because they, they both look the same. They are both uh, the same word. So this is one way of uh, uh, normalizing text. So uh, maybe sometimes you, you would run into characters like this and you're comparing it and you're wondering why it's was false. So the first what you have to do is normalize it. So this is it for this tutorial, guys. If you have you don't and you don't understand this uh, or if you have any other comments or suggestions, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.